This is YT. I was asked to make some nachos. So I'm going to just do my little home thing right quick. And I'm not using anything fancy or necessary name, name brand stuff. Because I got I can buy a whole lot of name brand stuff. But I got the taco seasoning from Save-A-Lot. Let me turn that down because it's ready to go, y'all. Also, I got their um, restaurant style tortilla chips from Dollar General. That brand called Clover Valley. So y'all already know how simple this can be, right? Okay, so let me get started, y'all. I just want y'all to know I like to put, even though I use sour cream, I like to put cream cheese on mine. And I thought I had one that was open out, but I didn't. So I had to reach in there and grab that right quick if y'all don't mind. Okay, so I'm going to start off right quick. And how everybody doing, by the way? I always really, really, really like to engage with y'all. And I really do care how everybody's doing, okay? So I'm going to get started right here real quick. Okay, I'm just showing y'all. I'm going to be plating. Plating! And y'all, don't pay me no mind. I'm a cell phone person. I'm new at all of this type of stuff. And, you know, cell phone don't hold too much time. So I can't really cook these meals from scratch to finish. Also, I have medical issues that keep me from really getting it in the way I like to with physical issues, if y'all understand where I'm coming from. So I'm going to do this, and this is going to be for a gentleman that needs a hearty plate. So I'm going to get this started. So this is going to be full, y'all, and I'm using paper plates tonight. I'm also going to be drinking some of my Stars and Stripes Fruit Punch. Now, y'all... Y'all know I don't really fool with soda too much, but I love to have something every once in a while. And I grabbed these stars and stripes. I just grabbed one of them from the Dollar Tree, and it was so good. I said, I'm going to splurge once in a while. It's so good when it's really, really cold or over some ice. And y'all know normally if you put fruit punch with ice in it, it kind of dulls the taste. So I'm going to be having some of that. I got a little bit of cup right here. Pairing it up. Everybody's going to be using matching coasters and little cups. And this is my cup from the Dollar Tree. These are some coasters I got from the Dollar Tree. And some paper plates from the Dollar General. Alright, y'all? And it's happening. It ain't all that, all that cheap stuff. Dollar Tree. No, listen. It's going down. You feel me? Understand what's in your wallet. Alright. I'm just going to do this real quick. Okay? I'm going to do this real quick because I don't know how much time I got left on the phone. But I'm going to start it off like that. Now, remember, this is a grown man. Don't bug out on it because people talk so much stuff. Well, you know what? An opinion is like what? All right. I'm going to leave it there. Okay? Now, I cannot. Let me see if I can put one of my other lids here because that eye is too hot for me to sit this down because I wanted y'all to see the preparations. But this is my Great Value Sour Cream. Either spent the dollar ninety eight for it, or I had a coupon and I got that deal. Okay, I'm just showing y'all this one right here for this specific person how they like theirs. And usually I let my sour cream sit out just a little bit before I, you know, make it so that it will come down. But then I said no because I want the heat to make it distribute a little bit more evenly. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so that's that. Okay, and I'm going to be putting some of my mild cheddar cheese. And also, we love mozzarella on ours. You know, these things here, you get them at home and you make it your own. And I know y'all understand where I'm coming from when I say that. So that's some mozzarella cheese. You're going to have a hard time seeing it because it's close to the color of the sour cream. Okay. And here we go. A little bit of cheddar. Y'all see that coming through? Okay. Hold tight, hold tight, people. All right, you guys. And I also like to sprinkle a little parsley on mine. I also like to put some chives. So I'm going to do a little sprinkle. I hope y'all can see. Nothing big. Oh, I forgot. I keep the... They forgot the... Somebody didn't put the thing on the inside. So let's see. Let's try it like that. There it is. There it is now. Y'all already know. And for a little bit of parsley flakes... I liked it both. And I do that on my baked potatoes too, you guys. Okay, so that's going down like that. Okay, and last but not least, I always add my lettuce and tomatoes on top because I got a lot of family members here that like a little chill to theirs. So I try to put this stuff on top so it don't get too warm for the ones that like it. You see, I just diced up some little bit here. You know what I mean? A little bit. And I have family, when they come to grab their plates, they may add more of whatever on there. This is just how I'm doing it right now. 
and they know they tweak it when they get ready okay and then I like to zap it with a little bit of salt and pepper there that's pepper this is just from the Dollar Tree but I got my grinders and all kinds of pepper mills and everything y'all y'all know how we do it all right so that's pretty much um what's shaking up in this spot tonight you understand what I'm saying that's what's shaking okay so we got this you see what I mean so Taco won't get the coin tonight. Taco Bell won't get the coin tonight. No, so let me stop being silly. But this is what it is, y'all. Up in this house tonight. This is what it is. And y'all know I always like to throw something at y'all before I leave. And this is um, one thing that I um, always like to, you know, to, to, to look at things. Remember to say, I did not get lucky. God gave me favor. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.